Hi, Vincent. So, I'm going to help you out with your math homework. So, oh, my little chihuahua wants to say hi. That's Lulu. So, first, let's start off by, I'm going to remind you of that song I taught you today in class. So, the song goes, dividing fractions, easy as pie. Flip the second, then multiply. So you see how you flip that one? And then you multiply instead of divide. Don't forget to simplify. Then you're done. So say bye-bye. So I'm going to actually show you how that song helps us remember how to do the math. So if we look at number one, I'm going to do number 1A. It says... One third divided by four. So in this problem, it is one third being divided by four. And I'll show you two ways to solve it. On um, the first, if we sing the song, before we sing the song, we must know that whenever we see a whole number, there's an invisible one underneath. And that's how we can simply make a whole number into a fraction. So dividing fractions, easy as pi, flip the second, well, when we flip the second, we're talking about the second fraction. And when we do that flipping motion, that's called the reciprocal. So we're going to find the reciprocal of our second fraction. So we're going to flip this upside down. So our denominator becomes our numerator, and our numerator becomes our denominator. And we'll get one-fourth. So dividing fractions, easy as pi, flip the second, then multiply. So instead of a division sign, we're going to have a multiplication sign. And we're going to multiply the initial number one-third times one-fourth. So from here, multiplying fractions is really simple. You multiply the numerator times the numerator. So that is one times one, which I know you know. It's one. Then the denominator times the denominator. So then it's three times four, which is 12. So that is one way, if we use our song, to help us kind of do the standard way of doing that. Um, another way, if we draw a picture, so if we were to draw a picture of one-third divided by four, we start off by drawing one-third, our first fraction, which is one-third. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a model of that. So I'm drawing a uh, tape diagram, which is simply a rectangle. There are three parts because they're thirds, and I'm going to shade one part. Um, these parts, they're kind of invisible. Um, they're not really there. They're this. The only reason we have them is to kind of show us what our denominator is going to be. So when we divide one third by four, what we're doing is we're taking this one third, this one little part, and we're splitting into four equal parts. So think about if you're sharing something with your friends. You share, so let's say you're sharing it with four people. Each person gets one part, right? So that's why I always like to shade one out of the four parts. So the, when we draw this model, we took the one-third and it split into four equal parts. This actually gave us the answer to our, to our um, problem as well. And what I mean by that is our numerator is going to be the amount that is double shaded. So that shaded two colors. So if you look right here, we have one little part that's shaded two colors, purple and red. So that's our numerator. And our denominator is the total number of parts. So before we had thirds, but when we split the thirds into um, fourths, each, um, each third into fourths, we actually end up having a new num uh, denominator or a new total parts, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So one out of 12 parts. So if we take one third and split into four equal parts, one of those parts is gonna be worth one twelfth. Um, hopefully this helps. Um, just do the best you can, as much as you can, um, and you'll be excused for whatever you can't get done tonight. Have a wonderful evening, bye.